Um, if you saw our tigers, our tigers are 300 and 320. So uh, that 860-pound uh, tiger is pretty darn big. So our male lion over there, lions are the second largest cat. He's about 450. Um, a large male can get up to like 550. Of course, there's always an exception to every rule, but 550 is generally a pretty big male uh, when it comes to lions. Our female over there is like 330. Around 3.30, I think. Um, we do try to weigh them every few months to see how they're doing weight-wise, if we need to adjust a diet and so forth. Um, how do I weigh them, you ask? I pick them up very gently, and I step on the scale. Now, we have a really nice scale that is made specifically for these animals. It's a very low aspect. It's made out of metal. Um, it cannot withstand a tiger or lion deciding to bite it and throw it around. So we do go through lots of training. Um, before bringing them actually in with the scale. Uh, and occasionally they get preoccupied with the scale and then we have to shoo them out <laughs> so that they don't flip it and bite off the feet and bite off the cord and all that kind of stuff. But so far we've been okay. Um, oh goodness. This boy right here is about 110 pounds. So he's um, kind of a light to medium male. A huge leopard will get, a male can get like 185, but that's a really big leopard. Um, so third largest cat is the jaguar. And if you've ever seen a jaguar, they look a lot like a leopard. They're a bit stockier and thicker looking. Um, and spot wise, if you see the side of his body right now, those um, enclosed areas, they're not really circles, but those spots, they're made up of several spots that sort of make those um, markings. And that is called a rosette. And inside of his rosettes, you'll see that they're empty. If he were a jaguar, there would be spots within there. So that is a main, uh, if you just get a quick glimpse or see a photo of an animal that looks like this, if it has the spots inside, it's a jaguar. So that's how you can tell the difference. Also, if you're actually seeing them in the wild, you just have to figure out where you're at. Because if you're in the Americas, Central South America, it's not going to be a leopard. It will be a jaguar. Jaguars are found in the Americas. Leopards, on the other hand, have the largest distribution of any cats. You can find them in many places, in Africa, in Asia, Middle East, even in Siberia. There is the Amur leopard, um, one of the nine subspecies of leopard. It shares its territory, parts of its territory, with the Amur tiger, also known as the Siberian tiger. And um, it's considered possibly one of the rarest cats on the planet, with maybe only 30 individuals left in the wild. So pretty rare. Uh, all the leopard subspecies are having uh, population issues, they're vulnerable, threatened. Um, the African ones don't seem to be having the problems as, as much as um, all the other subspecies. And as snacks, uh, one leopard in particular was known to take over 500 people uh, before he was stopped. They've been known to go around herds of goats to get to the goat herder. I don't know if it's just because we're easier to catch than a goat or more fun. <laughs> But uh, they have been known to do that, which is kind of bizarre. Yeah, I think we're just easier to catch, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. We don't have the defense mechanisms that the goat has. <laughs> right, buddy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and if you just noticed, I dispelled any myths that we declaw or defang any animal. Um, we try to keep them completely intact, if we can, at all times the way that they are meant to be. When, speaking of that, if you guys, um, oh, no. oh, he had a piece of stick. So it causes a lot of problems for them. It can cause a lot of back issues and balance issues. So I encourage you not to declaw your cats. I've had a couple of cats. I've never declawed them, and I train them. I am a trainer, but you can train them not to scratch things they're not supposed to scratch. See her after the show. <laughs> we need to know that. Oh, look at this. He's a good looking guy. Um, his parents used to live here. If anyone was ever here at this park before and you saw the black leopard, uh, the black leopard and the spur jaguar. Um, here in Florida, we have cougars. They're called panthers down here. Panthers just a generic it used to Florida calling there's panthers. Because in my brain growing up, I always thought about the Black Panthers. There's also an organization, for those of you who are a little older, who remember the Black Panthers. <laughs> um, 
but it's just a generic name, and they're referring to most likely a leopard or a jay. Um, and it's a recessive trait, so mom and dad both have to share or have the gene in them um, in order to get it expressed in their offspring. And it's just uh, it's kind of like blue eyes versus brown eyes. And it's a melting, which is why it's nicknamed the tourist tree. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, what else can I tell you about leopards? Do you guys have any questions about our leopards? What are their names? They're not affectionate. <laughs> this is Buhara and that's Kema. They are not affectionate. Um, I have had experience with cats that have been hand raised from being a little kitten. And uh, they are more affectionate <laughs> than others that have either been um, mom parent reared, like these two were. Mom was allowed to raise these two. So there wasn't a lot of human intervention. So there is a difference between a hand reared animal and a parent reared animal. But I've seen animals that have been completely hand raised attack and kill Siegfried and Roy, for example. Um, it's, uh, the lion over there was hand reared for a, a lot of his life. And we actually, when he came here, he was only a few months old and you could go in with him at the time until it became obvious that he was just a little too big to go in with anymore. And um, which it can happen in AZA zoos, it's becoming a little bit more commonplace that, at least for the young, if you can separate them from mom, in order to check them, weigh them, um, do those sorts of things and kind of start a social bonding with them and some training things. Um, that is very acceptable nowadays, but at some point when they become dangerous, uh, you need to stop because there's no reason to go in with them. There's Mommy, mommy nest. In a quarter. In a quarter. Twenty-five cents. Anyway, we're heading back with the dog. Just a safe reminder: make sure you download the All your dog friends are going to the boat, please. So we're going to be docked. And on the afternoon, we'll do. Or I think if we come along with this. Hello, little buddy. I do, but I'm nervous. Bird phobic. 
dear God. <laughs> Jump ball. <laughs> Pretty good eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hmm. 
Let's go Come swing. On. Let's go. Swing from the rafters. What is it doing? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Is it eating? Yeah. Yeah, he is still eating. Snacky. Lazy, huh? Mm hmm. Like a month. Flowing monkey. Oh, look, a space. <laughs> That's so beautiful. It's like he's got white gloves on. <laughs> hey, silly monkey. You better over here. Yeah. Looks like he's trying to burp himself. Doesn't <laughs> 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 Hey, crazy monkey. <laughs> Come on, you guys are boring. I don't know, Mally. I need coffee. <laughs> I think this one has indigestion. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, hush me up on your shoulder so I can see better. No, but it's like, come on, you noodle brains. <laughs> don't just oh, <laughs> still eating whatever he was eating. Yay! 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 his tiny little face. Yeah. What's up, Patty? Mm -hmm. What the hell do you think that is? Whatever it is, it's like Laffy Taffy. It takes a long time to eat. <laughs> Do. How much does he owe you? Uh, almost seven thousand dollars. The thing is, I, I give it to the twelve. Oh, yeah. Flew away. Have a coffee. Yeah, let's show him. Is this the one? A big bear. Wow. He's a big fella. He's sleeping over there. He's a zookeeper. I'm the zookeeper? Oh, look. A <laughs> 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 bear. <laughs> I do the tour at the college. What a born to see. Is, is he sleeping or he could kill us? There's another guy in there. He was throwing that around. Look at his little face. Yeah. He was throwing that around like it was nothing. So I imagine he could pick you up by his collar and pass you from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. You can see him on the side of the exhibit over here. Mom, are you watching this side? That's 
Red rum. Okay. Red rum. Thank you. Look at it from. It is red.